Well, it was absolutely unlike anything I've ever experienced before. I've been living here for eight years now, and this was quite simply the biggest, uh, longest-lasting earthquake I've ever experienced here. Um, an explosion was heard and smoke seen at the power plant this morning. Tomioka is a small town a little more than 10 kilometers south of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. 15,830 people lived here before the accident. Inside this abandoned pachinko hall, everything has been left preserved when everyone evacuated like a perfect time capsule from that tragic event. The red zone here has been lifted but residents are still slow to return and abandoned overgrown buildings still litter the landscape. More than 4,000 people work at the power plant each day, with 60% coming from the Fukushima region. The decommissioning process will continue for another 30 to 40 years while they continue this recovery. Cooling water is continuously being injected into the reactors to keep fuel debris stable. Contaminated water is treated and stored in these special tanks due to high levels of tritium, which can't be removed. TEPCO and the Japanese government have yet to decide what they're going to do in the future with all this contaminated water. These markings show the true size of the 15 meter tsunami which struck the plant back in 2011. Outside the front of Unit 1, we experienced the highest air dose of radiation on our tour, measuring at 241 microsieverts an hour. Special robots are being used to investigate how to remove the fuel debris. We pass multiple levels of security and new safety equipment to take you onto the floor of Reactor 5. Luckily, it was not operating when the earthquake struck and achieved a successful cold shutdown just nine days later. It has remained out of operation ever since. At the end of our tour, all clothing was destroyed. During our one and a half hour visit, we had absorbed the equivalent of three chest x-rays worth of radiation. 